question for today is, can you bore a 5.3 block out to a 6.0? And the answer is no. But before you go anywhere, let's kind of talk about what that even means and why people ask that. Um, for starters, the difference between a 4.8 and a 5.3, the displacement comes from the stroke. The 5.3 has a longer stroke. And what that means is the piston will go further down into the chamber, comes back up, it has more volume to compress, and that's where it makes up the displacement. So from a 5.3, uh, technically the next step would be a 5.7, the difference is the bore. It's just the bore steps up, um, the stroke stays the same, and the same goes for 6.0. The stroke, I'm talking about the crankshaft and the connecting rods, they're the same specs. It's just, well, when you get into bigger pistons, you gotta counterweight the bigger piston. But as far as the stroke, it remains the same from 5.3, 5.7, 6.0, and even 6.2. Um, so when the people ask, can I bore a 5.3 to a 6.0? Uh, the reason you can't is because there just there is not enough cylinder wall to give you what you need. It, it looks like there's a lot of wall here, but once you start machining it out, it gets really close to the water jacket inside. And I'll show you a close up here in a second, but the wall is not this thick. When you get inside the water jacket, it actually steps down almost maybe two thirds the thickness of what you see here. There just isn't enough cylinder wall to support a four inch bore on a 5.3 block. 6.0s do have a four inch bore. Pretty much the biggest benefit of running a four inch bore that the, the 6.0 liter has um, is probably the, the ability to run rectangular port heads because uh, you cannot run the rectangular port heads on anything smaller than a four inch bore. And when I'm talking about rectangular port heads, that's the um, uh, LS3 heads, uh, you know, LS9, LS7 is actually a little bit different, but basically LS3, uh, L98s, L92s, L67s, you know, off the G8s and the, you know, some six and 6.2 liter trucks, this and that. Those, you can run those heads on a four inch bore and you can run, you know, the matching intake manifold. If you go with the rectangular port heads, you got to get the rectangular port intake manifold set up. Basically, you can run a newer uh, generation of top end on your old generation block. But, like I said, not possible. It's not going to happen. There's just not enough material left. So your best bet is going to be just start off with a four inch bore block. So that's going to be a, a 6.0 liter or 6.2. Just start off from that. You cannot uh, get that from a 5.3 liter block, but what you can get is a, uh, I believe it's a 3.898 bore. I could be wrong. I'm not, <laughs> don't quote me on that, but that's the bore of a stock LS1. And the bore of a stock 5.3 is like 3.76. Maybe, again, don't quote me on that. But what I do know is that you can take the bore on the 5.3 out to uh, LS1 specs. So you can successfully convert a 5.3 to a 5.7. Uh, of course, you would need to have a crankshaft uh, balance because you know you go bigger piston, you're gonna need a bigger counterweight. Um, but yeah, even though all this is possible, even though you can, you can get a 5.7 out of a 5.3, there's people making plenty of power on a 5.3 displacement, even 4.8s. There's like people with six to 900 horsepower, maybe more, I don't know. If it's a boosted application, honestly, just leave the displacement alone and just build the motor to handle the extra boost. You're not gonna really gain all that more uh, stepping up the displacement to 5.7. Now, if you go from like a 5.3 to a 6.2, obviously that'll, you know, if you swap, go with a whole different generation and different um, engine, of course, the, the, that's a big jump in displacement. And also the six, the new 6.0s and 6.2s come with the, with the newer design top end, the better heads, better intake. Yeah, that's going to be a huge improvement. But if you just go from 5.3 to 5.7 and you're still going to have the same cathedral heads, the same top end, it's, it's not going to be that big of an improvement. So, yeah. To answer the question, no, you can't bore your 5.3 or 4.8 out to a 6.0, but you can bore it out to a 5.7. If you use LS1 pistons, just make sure to get your crankshaft machine and uh, don't expect a lot of gains unless you do some supporting mods and upgrade the top end as far as heads and intake. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.